G'day, how you going? Ian Harris from Australia here. My little buddy Ballantyne, he found this little um, canvas and he said, hey Ian, why don't you paint a beautiful beach, tropical sunset or something like that? And I said, you know what, that's a good idea. So me and Ballantyne, Ballantyne's going to hold the camera again and we're going to go and paint a little tropical sunset, wishy water beach scene. Okay, we've got our water bottle because we're using acrylics and I've got phalo blue, crimson red, mid yellow, some white, and some basic brushes. They're the brushes I feel comfortable using with this. Okay, I've put a little pencil mark there. That's roughly my horizon line. So I'm just gonna get some of the white and prime this board up. Get the yellow now. I'm just gonna pull some yellow down and probably Mix up some yellow here. There's no retarder in this one, okay? And maybe over here, okay? Just blend this out, so, like so. Just blend it into that white. Oh, better get my hand out of the way. I'm gonna get a little bit of crimson red on my brush. So I've still got all that old paint on there, right? So I'm just gonna whoosh this onto the, <clears throat> smack it around there. Okay, put that down, grab that same brush that I had before and start blending those two colors into each other. Now see here the intense bit, we'll get a cleaner brush. And we'll get some white on the cleaner brush. And I'm just going to intensify this area here with some white paint. And maybe come out a bit if I want to. That's it. Now that other brush that I was just using to blend, I've washed it in water, rubbed it on a rag. Now that white bit I put in there, I just want to blend him into there as well. Okay, got my phalo blue on there, nothing's mixed in it. I'm just gonna put it in this corner here. Now that's the phalo blue, right? Get my blending brush and wipe it. Blend it out. Yeah, nothing. Now see this, how it's whiter there than here? I'm gonna put a little bit of white in my phalo blue on the palette and get that color and start. So I've got that on there. I'm gonna get a bit of white on my brush. I'm dabbing it on my palette. And then we'll sort of go here, just something like that. Get Mr. Blending Brush again. Blend all that into there. Now, this color here, I'm gonna add more white and bleed it through to there, okay? Okay, now that's dry -ish. So what I wanna do is clean another brush Yeah, see, I can blend it, blend everything in. And we'll get our horizon line in. Straightly does it, Mr. Ian. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm gonna tap a little bit of yellow on my brush, scrape it on my canvas, get that green texture I'm looking for, get this, and bleed that into the blue. Okay, 
because this is the shallower end of the ocean, the beach, looking from the beach out to the ocean. Beyond here to there is the drop off where it goes deep. I think they call it a drop off in beach terms. Okay, I want a bit more white now, just white on the brush. Just to lighten this area here up. That'll do it. Okay. Okay, we've got our yellow oxide there. I'll put that at the bottom. I'll get it on there. Blend that into the green. This is just a basic beach scene. You can use these colours. It'll give you the basic colours of a beach scene, okay? And when you get better with all your blendings and whatnot. Now see here, I want to blend that a bit better. I've wiped my brush so it's not taking too much of the yellow oxide into that green. Okay, we've blended that. We've merged those two colours together. Now we'll get a little bit of white and we'll sort of do this. Now we'll do the fun bit. The fun bit is getting your favourite fan brush, putting some white on there, doing the outer breaks. To me, I always like to put a bit of a, just an outer break. So you do your main waves just in the green and coming on to the, bring it over like so. I better wet that a bit because it's not sharp enough. Gravel along <coughs> and get something like so. Crush it on, see how that looks like bush water. Now. Get a, another little flat brush, grab your white paint again, and then do the wash up. I call it the wash up. It's just where the, the water's washed up onto the actual sand. You know, you get the wave and then whoosh, the little, we'll call it the wash up. And then if anything, do it in, just like so. Okay, you got that, you got your wash up on. Then you, you can use that same brush, just wipe the paint off it with a rag. And then back here, leave this sharp edge. We'll blend that in a bit. Okay, I've faded that into the, from here to there. That, that's what my intention was to fade it. Okay, see here, we'll fade that. Now I'm going to use that same brush, get some white and just sort of two-tone that. So it doesn't look too bland. Business here, let's look for the bits where you think it needs some shadow. Maybe over here somewhere. Creates depth behind that wave. Get some more blue on there, I can't see it. Those blue bits you just put on, blend them just like that. You can use a more appropriate colour, a bit more darker, like purple or something. Now see my sun out there? We'll get just probably the Tinsiest bit out there and grab a dry brush. Where's a dry one? You probably give that a little bit of a sweep. That's it. Just turn it in there. Now, see here, this is where we got to put the 
dark to there. We've got our script liner and we just got to get a shadow under here. Oh, see, that's a bit on the thick side. It might look all right in the video. But with any painting, you get the shadows right, it brings them to life. But that's just a simple beach, ocean. We'll put some frothy bubbles here. It's just a simple beach breaking ocean sunset. Okay, that was a simple little exercise because Valentine wanted his sunset. So he's got his sunset and his beach scene there. From a distance, it looks good, but it's a basic little job you can do. And these type of um, subjects look good on a panoramic canvas okay so i hope you enjoyed that little exercise valentine did it you say hello valentine there you go all right goodbye good luck and good on you and don't forget to subscribe